a senseless, tragic waste of life. The images are chilling. Officials say the driver of this red Ford Ranger pickup truck, 37-year-old James Blackman, was impaled by a railing of the Causeway Bridge. It went through his windshield, severed his arm, and killed him on impact. That's after the driver of this white compact car crashed into the back of him around 2.30 Thursday morning. It pushed the Ranger up on the rail of the southbound bridge. The Ranger actually reversed. It ended up going southbound, tail first for a while. Uh, he was taking out the rails. The passenger in the pickup had only bruises. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay. Officials say the driver who crashed into them, 27-year-old Olivia Matt of Covington, was driving drunk. They gave her a field sobriety test. She failed. She initially refused the intoxilizer. Later, she agreed to it. I understand she failed that miserably. Arrest records show this is Matt's third DWI offense. She was also allegedly driving with a suspended license. This was stupid. Stupid. Plain and simply stupid and selfish. This driver should not have been driving anywhere, let alone on the causeway, at two something this morning. Causeway Executive Director Carlton Dufer Show says there are an average of 200 crashes on the bridge a year. This is the first fatal crash on the deck of the bridge in more than a decade. The difference between saving a life is keeping the vehicle on the roadway. Because that vehicle was on the roadway today, the passenger made it. It almost went over. That would have compounded. Then instead of losing one life, we may have lost two.